Hello McVeigh Dragons. This is videos for second grade. This is Welcome to Music Class with Mr. Thornley, volume number seven. Uh, I want to start off today's lesson with a quick review. Alright. Um, worked on beat in the fall, steady beat meter and rhythm patterns. Um, melody has notes that move by step, leap, repeat, then you create musical phrases, then you create sections. Then you have the form of your song, putting your receptions in a certain order. Then we started the harmony last time. And we talked about if you have a melody and no harmony being sung or played, um, just a melody being sung or played, that's it. That would be monophonic texture. And if we added chords and or an ostinato pattern, or ostinato patterns with our melody, then it becomes homophonic texture. <clears throat> So that's where we're at, and also um, to be able to identify whether you hear chords or an ostinato pattern, one from the other. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with how chords are, are made or built, and it's not that hard to figure out how chords are ba uh, made or how they're they're really built. Okay, um, if I have a, you know, how we studied steps and we went like C D E F G A B C, that's a scale. This C would be an octave above that one, okay? High C to low C, or low C to high C, is an octave leap. But, uh, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And out of that scale, I, can, I, can, I build chords. So, if I have a C chord, C's the root note, I'm going to skip the next note, which would be D, and go to an E. And then I'm going to skip the next note, which is F, and go to G. So a C chord is C, E, and G. A first, a third, and a fifth. Okay? So when I play a C chord, they're all C's, E's, and G's. Okay? And an ostinato pattern, as we know, is just uh, a pattern made up of um, a couple of notes that repeats. Uh, before I do an, any ostinato pattern, I'm going to do a G chord. Let's build a G chord. Okay, if we have a G chord, G is now the root. Okay, we're going to skip what? If you remember the musical alphabet, it goes A through G and starts over again. There is no H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, etc. in music. So if we have G, then we're going go to go to A and, or we, and then B, C, D, right? But we're going to do G and for our chord, we're going to skip the A. Go to B, skip the C, go to D. So a G chord is G, B, and D. First, a third, and a fifth. G, B, D. So if I do a G chord, it's all G's, B's, and D's. Now, for my ostinato pattern, I can make something simple like this. For an ostinato pattern. Or it could be a little bit more complex, a little more to it. Um, I'm going to play either chords or an ostinato pattern and see if you can tell me which, which one I'm doing. All right, if I'm strumming, it's a pretty tell, uh, telltale sign uh, that I am doing uh, chords, okay? So, and if I'm doing a couple of notes that make a pattern, well, you know that's ostinato. So what is this? You say chords, that was correct. I did a C chord, something called a D seventh chord, and then on a G chord. So that was there, that was those chords there. Um, how about this? Um, how about this one? There. Smooth that out after a bit. Chords are ostinato. Hopefully you said ostinato. It was a pattern made up of a few notes. Okay. Uh, I could have had an E chord played over top of that. Alright. So I got one person play the chord. 
another person play this ostinato pattern. Okay? Um, but that was an ostinato pattern. Now, I might try to fool you. So what's this one here? Okay. Now, hopefully you said chords. Uh, it was chords. I did a picking technique called pizzicato where I kind of put my palm against the strings and muted them. Uh, there's still notes of the chord there, and I let some of them ring. Okay, I did a G chord, E minor, C chord, D chord, back to G. Okay, so less chords. Though my pat, my picking pattern technique was a pattern, so it could sound like an ostinato. So. Sometimes things fit in two categories. Uh, it's not like cut and dry with music, okay? Anyway, uh, I want to get to our song. Uh, our song last time we started was Rock About My Sarah Jane. And I talked that if we had class, we'd be playing some chords and maybe some masonado patterns on the xylophones. <clears throat> what I want you to try to do, I'm going to sing along. I'm going to sing and play the chords. And I want you to... If you have a keyboard at home, electronic keyboard, and you know some notes, or even if you're not sure, um, try to find notes that sound good together and make a pattern out of it as I sing. Um, if you don't have any kind of digital key, uh, a keyboard or a piano, just try to hum something, a pattern that goes along with it. Okay? An ostinato pattern. Um, the key I'm in, the song's in is F, and I start with F chord. So if you do know, have a keyboard, you do know some notes on the keyboard, if you do some of the notes of the chord and make a pattern out of it, it should sound pretty good. So if you have an F chord, you got F as the root, we skip G and go to A, because after G is A in the musical alphabet, all right? A, skip B, go to C. So an F chord is F, A, C. So you could use those three notes to make your ostinato pattern if you know the notes on the keyboard, okay? Just if you do, if you got one at home. If not, just try to hum something that that's a repeated pattern that goes along with it. I mean, it could be something like boom, 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 boom. You know, but you can make something else. Uh, just try to do your best. All right. All right. Here's the song. I'm gonna play through it. Um, uh, we'll do it twice. Okay. And you try to come up with an ostinato pattern to go along with it. Here I go. Oh, talk about my Sarah Jane. Oh, talk about my Sarah Jane. Oh, there's nothing to do but to dance and sing. Rock about my Sarah Jane. Again. Oh, rock about my Sarah Jane. Oh, rock about my Sarah Jane. This one would probably go pretty good. A rock about my Sarah Jane. That's probably what you hear a bass player play on the song. But you can make up your own pattern too. Anyway, just try to play around with that and see what you come up with. Next thing is I put on the McVay YouTube site, uh, You've Got a Friend in Me. I did a recording of it with my digital piano, my Yamaha digital piano, and I played the piano and I sang along with it. Um, it's a You've got a friend of me from Toy Story. It's a Disney Pixar song. And I noticed that it's proper right now. They're, Disney's putting sing-alongs on TV. And this is my sing-along, yes, you might say. Might say Disney sing-along. But the real reason I put it on there is for you to listen to it and try to figure out what I'm playing on piano as far as am I playing chords or am I playing um, an ostinato pattern or am I playing something else too? that you're not sure of. Listen to it and see what you can figure out. And we'll go over this next time. Also, uh, listen to the form. See if you can identify the form of the song.
Okay? So <clears throat> you're going to listen to the song um, and see if you can tell me what the form is and also what kind of harmony is being played on the piano as I sing the melody. So the way I did it, it's at least homophonic texture. I'll tell you that right now because there's some stuff in there on piano. All right. If I did it just song by itself, singing it with no harmony, no chords, no ostinato, it's monophonic. All right. Um, that being said, um, be safe. Uh, practice social distancing. Be kind to your parents. Be helpful around the house. Uh, be respectful. Um, always do your McVeigh best. And have a good day.